Okay, there you go. All right, movie mogul. Come on, let's mogulize. Yeah, I, yes, I am. I'm mogulizing. Uh, let's get on with this here movie script. Come on, you haven't gotten too far yet. Uh, what's the next line? Uh, next line. Will you just keep typing while I dictate? Oh, yes. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, as the sun slowly dips behind the pyramids. How come you got your eyes closed? Uh, I had to think. Oh, I thought he couldn't stand the play. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, um, uh, the pyramids. Pyramids. Uh, Cleopatra waves goodbye to the heroic figure of Mark Antony riding off into the sunset. Fade out. The end. Yeah, hold it a minute, Shakespeare. Uh, how do you spell pyramid? Uh, P-Y-R-A-M-I-D-S. Uh, how do you spell sunset? S-U-N-S-E-T. Okay, now read the script back to me. Read it back to you? Well, that's unfair. Huh? Our collaboration agreement was for me to write the story, not to read it. Oh, will you stop this silliness? Now read it back to me. No, oh, I can't. I can't read it back to you. Why not? Because I, you can't read. Yes, I know. Well? Oh, well, you can't read it either. What do you mean I can't read it either? Because there's nothing on it. I forgot to put a ribbon in the typewriter. Y oh, no. Let me see. <clears throat> Oh, all blank pages. Blank, blank. Well, what could you expect from a blank mind? Oh, pardon me. I... What's that? Oh, hiya, Herb. Oh, I just heard you fellas were making a movie, and I would like to apply for the position of the movie star. <laughs> movie star. Shh, please, uh, I'm sorry, Herb, but the star of the picture is a beautiful woman. And, uh, well, you're just not the right type. Oh, well, I know the story, and since I can't be Cleopatra, I I'd like to take the role of Mark Antony. <laughs> Mark Antony. Please. Uh, but Mark Antony is a big, brave Roman general. Uh, besides, it's just a big role. Well, I'm just a small actor. Uh, don't you have any small parts? Oh, small part? Let's try Irving out for Mark Antony. Come on, give him a chance. Put on a helmet and try it. Uh, well, uh, oh, well, all right. I'll, uh, let me see what you look like with the helmet on, okay? Oh, yeah. I'd like to try it. Could I please? Uh, uh, there. Help! Oh, let me out of here. Let me out of here, please. Uh, all right. Oh, get it off of him, will you? He'll get, he'll get scared. He'll get a, a traumatic thing he'll get. Uh, uh, are you all right? Oh, yes. Oh, well, I understand. After all, there's no small parts. There's just large helmets. <laughs> <laughs> But I have an idea. Yeah? I could be the villain. After all, I play a good rat. Well, let me see. All right, you rats. You're the guy. Um, no, no, there's no villain in the movie. No, they're all heroes. That's what they are. Uh, I beg your pardon, but I... Uh... Oh, hello there, Snitchy. Uh, hello, Knucklehead, Jerry, Irving. Oh, hi, Snitch. Oh, yeah, hello, Snitch. Uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. I think I could play the part of Mark Antony. And look, <laughs> I have my own helmet. Uh, yeah, but Mark Antony uh, has to sweep up Cleopatra in his arms. And uh, you, you don't have any arms. Uh, I mean, you couldn't sweep anyone up with your antennas. Oh, uh, well, I guess you're right. Uh, well, how about Deauville? Could he play the part of the Roman general? <laughs> Who ever heard of a Roman general with a Roman beak? <laughs> no. Well, I guess I uh, can't make any suggestions. I leave you two boys to your pondering problems. Goodbye, knucklehead. No, stop. <laughs> stop it. You can play Cleopatra's maid, Fatita Tata, whatever that is. Uh, well, I'll see you fellas later, too. I guess I'll go down also. Okay, uh, if, uh, if anything comes up, we'll let you know. Oh, yeah, don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> oh, boy. Who could we get for Mark Antony? No, oh, I don't know, Mark Antony. Uh, well, it couldn't be uh, uh, Count Drink-a-Lot. Uh, no, it couldn't be Drink-a-Lot. Uh, no, no, he gets stage fright. Uh, uh, yeah, well, besides, Mark Antony is handsome like me and dynamic, a dynamic personality like me. Uh, Nuck, who do you think would fit the part? Well, from the description of Mark Antony that you just gave, it could only be played by one person. Who? Me. You? Why, Mark Antony's description sounds just like me. Oh, no, no, sorry. Oh, look at this. I'm moving my head, but the helmet don't turn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> now, look, besides, you're, you're not the romantical leading man type. You're just too businesslike. Uh, you ought to be the producer or the director or the guy with the money. Uh, a director? But uh, I'm not qualified. Uh, I have hair on my head. Y 
Well, you won't have any after your direct this show. <laughs> Look what happened to our director of this here program. Before he started directing the Jerry Mahoney show, he was called the Ringo Star of the television world. <laughs> Besides, if I don't play the lead, I'll take back half of the money, and I'd like to see you make a picture for half of 311. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I guess I don't know much about the budget for Winchell Mahoney time, uh, but I guess you're right. Okay, I'll be the producer and the director. You'll be Mark Antony. But who's going to be Cleopatra? See, how about Elizabeth Taylor? She already knows the line. No, no, she probably would want a big salary. Yeah. Maybe even as much as a dollar and a half. Yeah. But that's half our budget. Yeah, you said it. For the show, too. For the whole week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, do you go memorize your lines, and I'll see about building the set and casting the picture. Okay, I'll memorize. Uh, Fred's, uh, Robins, and Stella. What are you doing? I'm uh, pulling the Molly Brandy. <laughs> you see, I'm one of them New York Method dummies. Oh, get out of here and let me produce the movie. Now, if you see Scats, tell him to come over and he can help. Oh, I want to do the lines. Uh, Fred, uh, Robins, and Countrymen. Uh, my name is Molly Brandy. Oh, what's the use? What's the use?